explorers, and welcome to this week's fun. It's Miss Amanda here, the explorer's guru, ready to have another great adventure with my friends today. I am here at a beautiful beach on Lake Nipissing. And today, however, the explorers is not about swimming because Miss Amanda isn't the strongest swimmer. So that would not be my strong suit to introduce swimming to my friends today. However, the fun today is going to be building a sand castle. So I'm going to invite all my explorer friends to join me at my setup and we're going to build a sand castle together. Hey explorers, welcome back. I'm all set up here to build my masterpiece of a sand castle today. So I'm just going to show you some items that I brought with me. I purchased some nice sand buckets. I even got some really neat collapsible ones. And I have a bunch of shovels and rakes in order to help me build my sand castle today. Once I'm done building my sand castle, I brought some accessories for some decorations. Miss Amanda found some cute little pinwheels and some Canadian flags, seeing as Canada Day is coming up next week. So we're gonna celebrate our heritage. And I also found some neat chalk spray that hopefully adds a little pop of color at the end. So these are the materials I'm gonna be using today. Are you ready, explorers? Let's get started on building a sandcastle. Is everybody ready to build the sandcastle? I know I sure am. All right, so Miss Amanda started off here. I do have two buckets that are pre-filled with some sand, muddy sand. Add some water to your sand to make it a little more darker. That way it'll stick better in the container. So Miss Amanda and her helper already filled up two containers. But together right now, we're gonna fill up at least one of these ones here. I have an empty bucket and now my dark sand here, which I added some water to the sand to make it a little more like mud. And then that way we know that the stand is, uh, part of me, the sand is going to stay stuck together when we flip it over to make the sand castle. I'm gonna pack some sand in here. Scooping and patting, I pack it in. Two more good scoops. Should do the draw, maybe one. Okay, so I filled this one. These are gonna start off my sand castle. Do you hear that, boys and girls? Can you see something behind me? Do you see the duck floating in the water there? Again, ducky duck. <laughs> Wonderful discoveries again when we're out enjoying nature. Beautiful duck. Just floating along on the water. And further down in the distance behind me are a bunch more ducks. From what I can count from where I'm sitting, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight ducks. Eight ducks joining our explorer's adventure today. Amazing. I'm gonna continue on now with my sand castle. So I'm gonna take the first bucket and I'm gonna flip it upside down to start our sand castle. I'm gonna give it a little pat, make sure it's there and it's gonna come out. And we lift it up. Oh no! What happened? That's okay. We'll try with the next one. So don't get discouraged, friends. If this happens, you just try again. Let's see if this one works. Okay, let's see if attempt number two works. This one's standing. 
All right, Explorer friends, I managed to have one standing. I'm gonna attempt this one again, but I'm going to pause for maybe five to 10 minutes and I'll come back and show you what I've done in that time. We'll see you soon. Hey everyone, welcome back. So it's been about 10 minutes now. Um, this is the base of my sandcastle that I was able to make with some help from a couple of people. Um, so Miss Amanda just wanted to show you quickly. I did all the castle parts with the buckets. Next step for me is I'm gonna be building some walls around and adding a special lake in the middle of my castle here. So I'm gonna continue on with this and we will check back in soon and see where I'm at. Hello everyone, we're back. It's been about another 10 minutes later. Um, Miss Amanda and her helper, we built some walls here. And all we did, we man-made the walls. So I'm just gonna show you quickly. Man-made means we just did it on our own without using buckets. So what we did is we just grabbed some mud and we put it on and built our wall. And just packed it down and added more and packed it down and, and shaped it. So now we have the walls up of our castle. And I have my little pool of water in the middle here for everybody to go swimming that lives in the castle. And last but not least comes the decorating phase. Miss Amanda is going to decorate her castle, get it all ready to show you the final product. I can't wait to show you. We'll see you soon. And here we are, explorers, my final product, my beautiful sand castle that I created today with help of some great friends and I hope that my friends enjoyed the segment today on making a sandcastle. Um, I added some, like I said, some uh, flags for Canada Day as it is quickly approaching and some little tin wheels here hoping that the wind will catch it and make it spin. I used some sidewalk paint or spray just to add a pop of color in here. I had so much fun today making this awesome sandcastle. I hope my explorer friends enjoyed the journey today. And now I've worked so hard, it's time to go for a dip. I'll see you next week, explorers.